Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with a half case break, random team break of 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Football six box random team number five. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. One spot gets you two teams in a half case break, and all teams are in. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Four and a three. Seven times. Your name's first. One. One. There we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seventh and final time. After seven times. There you go. Four and a three. After seven times, we have... Shannon on the pole and Steve Freeze in the 32 spot. Four and a three, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got the New York Football Giants down to the Redskins. All right, so Shannon, you have the New York Football Giants in 2018 Panini Donner's Optic Football. Chad, Texans, Patrick, Vikings, Karen with the Pats, Dwayne with the Chiefs, Paul with the Dolphins, Chad with the Jags, Greg, you got the Browns, Alex with the Jets, Dwayne with the Bills, Moody, you got the Bears, Karen with the Panthers, Alex with the Rams, Patrick N with the Lions, uh, Chad with the Steelers, Robert Miller, Saints, Chad Eagles, Robert Miller, Bengals, Mark Matheson with the Falcons, Steve Freeze with the Titans, Preston with the Colts, Paul with the Chargers and the Buccaneers. Mark with the Broncos. Shannon with the Cardinals. Preston with the Seahawks. Cody Venn with the Niners. Paul Nixon with the Ravens. Greg with the Raiders. Packers for Moody. Cowboys for Cody. And Redskins for Steve Freeze. Let's alphabetize by team. Let's get all the teams and names on the same page there. Excellent. Steve has the Titans. Redskins for trade. Rams and Jets are up for trade as well. All right, a lot of off trade offers. Broncos for Jets, maybe. Remember, Jets have uh, Sam Darnold, Alex Carr. Don't forget about that. Niners for Jets or Rams. Raiders for trade. Bucks maybe for trade. Broncos for wait, what's the deal, Mark Matheson? Broncos for Jets is a deal. Yeah. 
Alex says deal. All right, so Alex, you now have the Broncos in a trade. And Mark, you now have the Jets for a trade right there. We'll put T's next to the name to double check that. Any other trades? There's some trade offers. All right, so while you guys are considering those trades, let's see which, we'll go with that one. We'll see. Let's see which half we're gonna do. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it'll be three. One, two, three. And this is our last case of optic football, folks. We'll save this for next time. And draft apparently is sold out. Did that sell out before Vertex? It did. All right, so that's our schedule currently. And looks like there's no other trades, so let's close up the trade window. TWC trade window closed. There we go. On a Thursday, random team number five. Thanks everybody for getting in. Let's see how those trades work out too. Good luck. Next half is already in the store. And since one spot gets you two teams, doesn't take doesn't need that much, doesn't take that much. To, um, to get the next one done and finished. All right, so the schedule is in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. So take a look, take a look at that. So we should have this break done in about half an hour or so, around maybe a little bit under. And then we'll do that flawless baseball right after that. Then we'll do Bowman Draft. That'll take about an hour or so. And so then that should bring us to our next break at around 8.45 Pacific. Around there, we should, we should be ready for our next break. Vertex will probably be around then. There's Jake Wanneke to 50. So we'll sleeve and top load all of those before they go out. Remember, uh, veteran commons won't ship, but 
obviously inserts, serial numbered cards and stuff like that. Will Shib, autographs obviously. LaShawn McCoy right here too to 149. Kalen Bellage to 299. James White to 199. DJ Shark. And they're just a parallel, not numbered. And our first autograph is going to be Dante Pettis. Nice, rated rookie autograph for the uh, Niners, Cody Venn. Thirty-four out of eighty-five. That's our first autograph. One autograph per box and parallels. All right, next box, Vertex. Yeah, I can't wait for that either. That should be around, that'll be after that Bowman draft break. I'm sure there's only two teams left there. I thought that would sell out before the draft, but I guess the baseball fans were more motivated to get that one in first. That's all right. We'll get it all. We'll get it all in tonight. See that? Is that autograph? Or is it just a, a base, one of one? That's correct, Jay. Wildcard games start Saturday. Two games on Saturday and then two games on Sunday. Should be pretty exciting. I feel like this year's wild card slate is pretty solid. Yo, Josh, what up? That Bowman's best happened already? Yes, it did. Video is already loaded. Already loaded up. Unless I forgot. I'm pretty sure I loaded it up. All right. There's Denzel Ward to 199 for the Browns. David Williams for the Broncos to 99. All right. See you, Josh. Good luck. Ben Roethlisberger at a 25. Black Velocity Parallel. What's going on with the Steelers? That'll go to Chad Stork and the Steelers. I feel like a lot of lot of. All right, so that's that's the autograph. So that must just be a base one of one or something like that. Ezekiel Elliott, one ninety nine. Well, it's it's only wild card. We it's not the Super Bowl. Jay's cards. He's expecting a lot of promos and bounties and whatnot for those. It's just wild card weekend. Let's not go too wild. We've got to save up for... Then we might not have anything left for the uh, Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, it seems like, seems like high school drama. A lot of dirty laundry being aired out. I feel like that doesn't... Not too common with the Steelers. But maybe they just have to, I feel like they just have to kind of reset a little bit here. The redemption is a dual auto. Rookie dual autographs, Kike Kuti for the Texans and Traquan Smith for the Saints. So we'll set that right here. 
It'll be a randomizer between the Saints, Robert Miller, and uh, the Texans, Chad Stork. So that'll be at the end of the break. Now behind Patrick Peterson is Charles Clay. One of one for the Bills. Nice. That's a cool one there. That goes to Dwayne, who got randomized the Bills in this break. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, next box in this random team break. What's up, Gilo? Uh, am I rooting for for anyone in particular? Not. Really, as you know, as a Raiders fan, I don't really get to uh, enjoy the play. I get to watch the playoffs stress free because I'm a Raiders fan. So I just want to see good. I just want to see good matchups, and I think this weekend's a pretty good matchup. Uh. I think that Indianapolis at Houston matchup might be that might be the best of the weekend. And that's an early Saturday. That's the early Saturday game. Seattle at Dallas. That should be another good one. Chargers looking for maybe some a little redemption against the Ravens. They're going across the country though in an early game. It's gonna be rough for them. And then the Eagles at the Bears. Let's see what the Bears' defense can do in the playoffs. Good luck, everyone. Next box. We got Danny Etling for the Pats to 199. We got downtown Bradley Chubb. And there's Patrick Peterson for the Cardinals as well. That downtown card going to Alex Carmichael and the Broncos. And Alex drawing first blood in that trade. That's what downtown Denver looks like, ladies and gentlemen. True story. Oh. Oh, come on, man. He, he said, oh, go to Starbucks. I knew it. I knew it. See ya. Someone had taken the restroom key. It was a mystery. At 149, Marvin Jones, but the mystery has been solved. There's Bradley Chubb right here. Wasn't me. Wasn't Nick. Wasn't Jackie. There's Sam Darnold to 149. This guy. Nice one, Jay. Yeah, same person, actually. Thirty-seven out of fifty. Um, we are looking for new spaces, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna expand a little bit. <laughs> it's one thing I I said. Well, listen, as long as there's like as long as there's like a bathroom like in the in the actual store. Like that's that's all I care about. You guys pick whatever. I want maybe a nice window for the background. 
and then a bathroom inside the store instead of walking down to the end of the building. Uh, bangles, that'll be for Robert Miller. With the amount of with the amount of money we pay in this place, the uh, the bathroom is not very well maintained either. All right, we are halfway through this half case break, ladies and gentlemen. Three boxes to go. Good luck, everyone. And we got a randomizer at the end right here for that rookie dual autograph. Rory in the house. I'm just here to cry when someone hits a nice touring and draft. Draft is coming up a little bit later tonight. I don't remember that game, Jay. Sorry, I missed, missed what you were saying. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are kind of up against the clock, I think. By the time we get this done and the next two breaks done, we're kind of in the last two hours of the broadcast. And in fact, I think Vertex should probably fill up. So that's going to be added to the docket. So maybe we'll be only be down to the last hour and a half of the broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want to see something happen, get it going. But listen, we are on seven nights a week. So we're breaking every night. So if something doesn't happen to fill tonight but gets close, we'll just do it tomorrow. Easy. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Are there still, there's still two left in Vertex, Ricky? Man, just knock it out, folks. Let's add it to the docket. Let's keep adding stuff. Let's fill up the rest of the night. And it looks like Bowman's best is close again, too, says Rory. Gilo was saying earlier... Well, Jay was saying earlier, as long as the Chargers win, he says, Gilo thinks the Chargers will flop. Ah, that's an interesting game, too. It's it's hard for a team. I don't know. I don't know. And you guys, you guys know I enjoy the, uh, the wagering here and there. I don't know who to pick. I've just been going back and forth on all these, uh, on all these teams. Like you, you think, oh, boy, the Chargers can't possibly lose twice in a row. But then again, the Ravens. Defense has been playing well. This guy's been playing better and better. There's Lamar Jackson for the Ravens. So, I, well, yeah, I know, I know. Gabe's a Gabe's a Chiefs fan, so he kind of has to say that. But yeah, I think all these games are going to be really close. There's Lamar Jackson. That's what downtown Baltimore looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Got some Edgar Allan Poe's, some Ravens and whatnot. That'll go to the coach, Paul Nixon, and the Ravens. Those downtown cards, I think, are still doing pretty well on a secondary market, Paul. There's Antonio Brown. He was one of the masked singers. That's what he was doing. There's Derwin James for the Chargers. That's a big, that's a big defensive back for the Chargers. He's really improved their secondary. But I guess they're not going to have Lamar probably throw very often. I don't know. Crazy. Dak Prescott out of 199. Cowboys. Cody Vent says 24 to 20 Chargers. Jordan Thomas to 25. Judge Ito Smith to 299. Cam Newton to 199. And here's the RPA. There's Mike is taking a kid reporter card back here. And behind Derrick Henry is, bam, Kyle Oletta, 12 out of 35, jersey and autograph. That goes to the Giants. That'll be for Shannon Johnson, last spot mojo. Nice. Two boxes to go. 
Yeah, that's the scary part. I think Lamar Jackson probably, Jay, Jay saying Lamar Jackson's awesome is coming to his own. Lamar Jackson, I think, is probably a better version of Lamar Jackson than he was when he first faced the Chargers. And they have the benefit of home field advantage, but... But now the Chargers have a little more data on him. It's going to be close, I think. Ethan is saying, not a fan, but I called Ravens winning the Super Bowl week one. Now I sound crazy if I said it. I think you'd sound crazy in week one. <laughs> now, I don't think you'd be too crazy if you said it now. Though that defense, defense alone could be enough. That's the, it's the old cliche, right? Defense wins championships. Colts defense has been playing well. That Houston Texans front is scary. Seattle's defense is doing enough. Dallas defense is what is what has been keeping them in, in games and winning games. Chargers have a good secondary. Baltimore's defense is great. You know, the recent reason for the Eagles' success is not necessarily Nick Foles. It's actually the Eagles' defense has been improving. You know, and we all know about the Bears' defense. Bears' defense alone can score multiple touchdowns. So these are all great defensive teams. Good luck. A couple more boxes to go, and then the next break. All right, Jake Wanicky. Wanicky? Wanicky? Jake W. There's DeAndre Hopkins to 199. We'll be talking about all the teams all week, Mr. Mike's Daddy. There's Tyler Conklin to 149. Jordan Lasley to 199. <laughs> Rory's going to keep talking about the Bears. Rory's saying the Bears are overrated and will be out of the playoffs ASAP. Do you think they're going to lose to the Eagles? There's David Johnson to, to 199. That goes to the Cardinals. There's poor Alex Smith to 99. And Luke Falk for the Titans is your autograph out of this box. Steve Freeze for the Titans. A little tried to trade, could have trade mojo. 31 out of 50. Well, he does have more experience. Super Bowl experience, to be exact. It's Trubisky under the under the at home pressure of the Bears in the playoffs. Out of one ninety nine, Deshaun Hamilton. No, Ethan, Rory, who's been with us for a number of years, he's a Packers guy, so that might explain that. Brent says Bears 17, Eagles 3. Brent, are we taking unders on all these games? These, all these teams have decent defenses, if not good defenses, if not great defenses. Are we taking unders on all these games? I think the Eagles have got to score more than three, though. Well, we'll be, I'll be here on sun, a Saturday with you guys. Nick will be here on Sunday with you guys. So there'll be a lot of football watching together and a lot of football talking together.
I guess I'll have some official Saturday picks locked in on Friday. And I'll have my Sunday picks locked in by Saturday. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen, and then uh, what's, what's coming up next? Let's drop the schedule into the chat again. Right, Flawless coming up next. Flawless Baseball 23, Jordan has sold out. And then Bowman Draft after that. Then after that, has that Vertex sold out yet? It should be Vertex after that. That only has two teams left. So we'll get that locked into the docket. And then we'll have time for, you know, we've got another hour and a half or so. Or another Bowman's Best. We have plenty of time for that, Rory. We can knock that out. Wow, Brent says 50 bucks on the Bears, win by 14. Can you put, is, do you have a, there's Christian Kirk to 299. Does your book offer a, uh, a scoring margin wager? Might be able to get plus money on that. I like these inserts too. These are pretty fun. Josh Adams, Eagles. Should be one more autograph in here. Mike Kosicki out of 149. And Josh Allen. Nice rated rookie autograph. Josh Allen for Dwayne and the Bills. Fifteen out of one fifty on that Josh Allen. Yeah, that one of one Charles Clay as well. So great break for the Bills. There's Dalvin Cook to one ninety nine. Melvin Gordon to two ninety nine. See, I think Melvin Gordon isn't going to be as healthy as you want him to be. I think that's interesting too. AJ Green to one forty nine. And that's that, folks. All right, we do have a randomizer right here. Kike Kuti, Traquan Smith. Let's go to ram.org. Kuti. Texan, Traquan Smith, no, New Orleans, Saints. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list. Three and a six, nine times. Team on top gets it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Flips to the Houston Texans after nine times, and that goes to Chad Stork. There you go, Chad. This rookie dual autographs coming your way. Thanks very much, everyone. That was the first half of the case of Donner's Optic Football Random Teams. That was random team number five. Next one is in the store right there, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We have time to run it back tonight if you'd like. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.